In this video, we're going to talk about stamps, what they are, and how you can create your own. Stamps are images that you can use as brush tips. These images are used to create different visual effects for your brushes, like scars, screws, bricks, stones, etc. In Forger, you can find two different uses for them. You can choose a sculpting brush and a stamp to give the strokes a unique style. Alternatively, you can use the stamp brush to apply patterns over the surface of the mesh. You can choose any brush and select a stamp from the stamp picker. You will also see some stamps already installed. The strokes you make will have the shape of the chosen stamp repeated over and over. If you use the stamp tool, you'll be able to apply the chosen pattern. By tapping on the center of the location where you would like the stamp to be, you can drag to scale it and orient it. Let's talk now about how to add them to Forger. You can load images from any website by dragging and dropping them to Forger, like so. Suppose you already have some images downloaded on your device. You can add them to the Forger Stamps subdirectory. Next time you open Forger, you'll have the new stamps displayed in the menu. Another option is to create your own stamps and add them to Forger. For example, you can design your stamp in any drawing app. Keep in mind that the new stamp has to be square, black and white. For ideal performance, the canvas size should not exceed 512 by 512 pixels. The first step is to create a new canvas and then paint it black. There, you can create a pattern in white. Once you have your drawing, you can export it in PNG. Choose Save to Files and add it to the Stamps Forger subdirectory. You can also create stamps directly in Forger, similarly to how you did it in the drawing app. With the plane selected, in the Mesh menu, go to the Vertex Colors submenu and choose Fill with Color. Choose a black color. Then, choose a white color and create a pattern that you like. Remember that you can also play with symmetry, depending on what you want to accomplish. Extra tip. You can subdivide the mesh to get better results. Once you're satisfied with your design, you can export it as texture. Now it's the moment to give it a new name and save the files inside the existing stamp subdirectory. When you have your stamp ready, you can use it on the mesh. Select the stamp tool, choose the one that you need, and apply it to the mesh. Depending on the effect you want to achieve, you can push or pull the surface with the alternate shortcut. Remember that you can experiment with the brush size and strength to modify your brush tip, as we saw in the brushes video. If you like this video, please let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like it.